don't be so foolish. He has given food to those who fear him. He will remember his covenant forever. Psalm 111.5 There is a plant outside our kitchen window that houses a nest of full of baby birds each spring. One day, I pulled back the leaves to take a peek inside and found their mouths wide open, waiting for a worm. I remember thinking, these little guys don't just think they're getting a worm, they know the worm is coming. There is a lesson to be learned from this, and Jeremy Taylor teaches it well in his writings. When he writes, Does not God provide for all the birds and beasts and fishes? Do not the sparrow fly from their bush and every morning find meat where they laid it not? Does not the young ravens call to God and he feeds them? And is it responsible for the sons of a family should fear that the father would give food to the chickens and the servants, his sheep and his dogs, and none to him? He would be a very, very bad father, that should be so. So he would be a very foolish son to think so of a good father. We have lived at God's charges all our life, and thus far he has not failed us. We have no reason to suspect him for the future. There is no reason or excuse to be concerned about tomorrow. This year is almost over. Has God taken not care of you up to this point? Do you think he will not provide for the future? Don't be so foolish to let circumstances around you overshadow the promises of God. What he said he will do, he will do. This devotional was taken from Steve Hill's book, Daily Awakenings, and I pray that you have a blessed day.